एक्सेल केमिस्ट्री क्लासेस ये राउंड बाय बारिक सर कार्तिक सिंह बारी पहले नॉन आते बारिक सर एज अ 25 पास इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ टीचिंग ऑन केमिस्ट्री एज अ प्रोड्यूस मेनी आईडियंस एंड डॉक्टर्स इन द सोसाइटी एंड going to start the online classes for the 11 to 12 those are preparing for the iitj both for the main and advanced subjects from medical the need examination is also adapting the online classes morning so in the first part of the video so i have explained the molecular orbital theory that is the basic concept of the theoretical aspects of the molecular orbital theory so now in the second part i will explain you so about some of the examples of the molecular orbital theory so in the first part that i will explain the molecular so now let molecular start with the nitrogen molecule so how the nitrogen molecule is formed so you know the nitrogen atom that is this is the nitrogen atom 7 and atomic number of nitrogen is 7 so the configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p uh, 2px1 2p y1 2p z1 in the electronic So when the another nitrogen atom is also having the same configuration that is one s two, two s two, two p x one, two p y one, two p z one. So so when the different two nitrogen atoms combine that form the molecule. So when the two nitrogen atoms combine together that form the molecule. So let me draw the diagram. This is one nitrogen atom. This is another nitrogen atom. So the configuration wise, this is the one s two. This is 
the 2s2 and these two px to py to z they are having the same energy to be one to be y electron this is having in the other side this is the 1s2 this is the 2s2 and this is the 2px1 2py1 2p0 So the so when the the war is there, so the key will fight with the key. Soldier will fight with the soldier, and the soldier will not fight with the soldier. So this way, this way the one is two is overlap, one is two, two is two is overlap, two is two. So in the SS overlap, that will form the sigma, that is sigma star. And this is the sigma sigma star, and that will stop. When the two p atomic orbital, the first it will form the sigma bond. That is the that is the p x p y p z. That is another p x p y p z perpendicular to each other. The first the hidden overlapping. That is the sigma bond. So once the sigma bond is formed, that is the pi bond will be there. So this is also the side of overlapping. The pi bond will be there. So in the one s two and one s two will overlap. That will be formed. Of, that is the sigma one s. That is the sigma star one s. Two two electrons. That that I will explain later. That is the uh, sigma two s. And this is the sigma star two s. But in nitrogen, this the pi orbitals are more stable. As compared to sigma orbitals, because the inter-electronic repulsion is less. This is the sigma two uh, pj. Because why is it two pj? Because the two px and the two py both are having the same energy. Pi two px and pi two py both are having the same energy. The this is the uh, pi star px that is equal to Pi star to p y, that is the sigma star to p z. So this is the complete diagram. When two atomic orbitals combine to form two molecular orbitals, one is a bonding and the other is bonding. Two atomic orbitals combine form the bonding and the other is bonding. This is that is the three and the three six atomic orbitals combine form the six bonding. So the two the electronic arrangement you will see the two to four. So that will be. According to our principle, that we are going to carry is not that. This is the two plus four. This is four. This will be two. So after that, after that, so that is the it will be total electron is six. And because they are now the degenerate of because also the carrying of electron is not that. So I have the six. So this is the configuration. So let me write about the nitrogen configuration of the nitrogen molecule. So the nitrogen molecule configuration that is the N two. Starting from the that is the sigma one s two, then it is less energetic than the sigma star one s two. Then it is sigma two p s sigma one s two sigma star two s two. Then it will be sigma two s two. Then sigma star two s two. Sigma star two s two. Then the it is the pi two p s. That is same as the pi to p y. There are both are having the two electrons. So I am equal sign as given here because then it is a sigma to p z two sigma. So 
So let me remove this. This is not required. So this is the molecular orbital. What is the electronic two EP gas signature? Okay. So then if you write like this, this is the electronic configuration of the. The previous to what I have read is that is the electronic configuration of nitrogen atom. So now you see these are the bonding electrons, these are the bonding electrons, and these are the antibody electrons. So the bond order, what is the bond order? The bonding electron minus antibody electron by 2. The bonding electron is 10, 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, that is equal to 10. Antibody electron is 4. So that will be 6 by 2, that will be 3. So the 3, one or 3 means that is a 900 nitrogen. 3 bonds are formed. So out of the 3 bonds, so 1 is the sigma bond and 2 is the 2 pi bond. So here you can see, this is the constructed molecular orbital, that is the constructed, it is destructive. Constructive, destructive, form, destructive. Constructed, destructed, constructed, destructed, constructed, constructed, constructed. So that means out of this there is no thing formed because it constructed, destructed, constructed, destructed. So but in this case the two pi orbital is constructed for the antibody there is no electron. So that means it is constructed but it is not destructed. But here it is the sigma one is constructed but it is not destructed. But the pi orbitals are more stable because they are So here it is constructed means that the one sigma mode is formed. One sigma mode is there and the pi mode is constructed. So that is why you can understand the bond order is C. That is the bond order is C. That is And you could see the Magnetic properties of the nitrogen, nitrogen magnetic properties you can see there is no unpaired electron is present. You see this is a paired electron. So no unpaired electron is present. No unpaired electron means it will be dimagnetic. So nitrogen in the air that is present that is the dimagnetic form. So the nitrogen it is in the dimagnetic form. So, so the nitrogen is a dimagnetic phase that is present in the air. So you see, it may be happening. So if we write the L2 plus, so what will the construction L2 plus means one electron is removed. So where, where does it move? L2 plus means one electron is removed. So this configuration, so this configuration will remain same up to this. So all these things remain same, but the one electron is left in sigma to be z. The Z is considered the internuclear axis. They are formed on the Z axis only. And the pi bonds are formed on the X and Y axis. So that's why the Z is considered the internuclear axis. It is a G of the internuclear axis. And uh, the N2 minus, N2 minus means that will be uh, one electron, the extra electron. So extra electron means that the sigma will be 2. So the next electron will It's one. So in N2 minus, both the N2 plus and N2 minus both are both the case. Here the bond order you can see, in this case the bond order will be 10 minus, uh, that will be uh, 5 because a bonding electron is a decreases here, so that will be 9 minus 5 by 2, so that is equal to uh, 9 minus 4 by 2, that is equal to 2.5. So that means the nitrogen, nitrogen double bond and one partial bond will be here. But here the bond order we will see that will be 10 minus 5 by 2, that is also 2.5. So that means that is the double bond will be there, another the partial bond will be there. Then the question arises the two of the. So 
इलेक्ट्रॉनिक तो फॉर द ऑन स्टेबिलिटी मोर इन द इलेक्ट्रॉन द इलेक्ट्रॉन क्लाउडिंग विल बी मोर सो दैट विल बी रिपल्सिबल टू दैट द स्टेबिलिटी डिक्रीजेस सो दैट्स व्हाई द स्टेबिलिटी ऑर्डर इज टू सी द एन टू बी मोर स्टेबल देन देन टू प्लस देन देन टू माइनस एंड एन टू बी जी डायमैग्नेटिक नेचर फॉर दिस टू आर इक्वली पैरामीटर So similarly, I am explaining the other molecules. This is all about the nitrogen. So the the concept is we got the sum of atomic number the Z. If it is less than equal to fourteen, then the whatever we have discussed, the same thing will be applicable. So now I am explaining about the oxygen. Now I am explaining about the oxygen. So now you see the oxygen at the heat. So that is one s two, two s two, two p x two, two p y one, two p z one. So another is the oxygen heat, one s two, two s two, two p x two, two p y one, two p z one. So when the two oxygen combine, that will form the O two molecule in form. Two molecular water, but it is slightly little bit different from the uh, orbital diagram of the nitrogen. Orbital diagram of the nitrogen. Here the one oxygen atom, here is another oxygen atom. So this is the configuration of the one s two. So that is the two s two. That is two p x two p y and two p z. Two p x and two p y. That is the configuration of nitrogen. The other side, that is the other oxygen atoms are there. So that is the two p x, two p y, two p z, one one two. That is the two electron will be here. So this is all about the oxygen. So when the oxygen combines and form the two atomic orbital combine. On the two molecular orbital, the two atomic orbital combined to form the sigma one s. This is the sigma star one s. That is the sigma two s. That is the sigma star. So here it will be configuration will be little bit different. So the sigma comes to down, but uh, this is the pi orbital moves on. Because the inter-electron repulsion has the number of electron increases, so then the number of electron increases. So that's why the stability of the pi orbital decreases. So that's why, but uh, in anti-bonding levels that will remain same, same position. So this is the pi star to p x that is equal to pi star to p y that is the sigma star to p z that is the sigma. So now. So two plus two, that is four. Two will be here. Two will be here. So constructed and reconstructed. Sigma one is two. Sigma star one is two. They are also two plus two, that is four. That is also four. Sigma two is two. Sigma star two is two. So that will be four plus four eight. So that will be two sigma two p z two. That is also the according to Bunsen the pairing of the two molecules. Six electrons we have occupied here. Uh, Place here, so there is another two electron left here. So I can say that there is another two electron left here. So that is why the configuration. If we write the configuration of the O2 molecule, so then from the starting, it will be sigma one s two, less energetic than the sigma star one s two, then sigma two s two, less than the sigma star two s two, then the That is the sigma two p z two sigma two p z two. That is the pi two p x. That is equal to pi two p y x pi two p x two pi two p y two pi two p x two pi two p y two. Then pi star two p x is one. So 
this is the only changes in that in case of the nitrogen that it was itself and a sigma origin here that it only itself to the nitrogen. Because the inter electron is also in case of the oxygen. That's why the stability of the pi orbital decreases. That's why this is So now I will show you how to write the configuration of the this is the ore. So then what is the bond order here? The bond order is bonding in the two electron, two electron, two electron, two electron, two electron, the bonding electron scale. Antibonding electron is in this 2 plus 2 plus 2, that will be 6. 10 minus 6 by 2 will be 4 by 2, that will be 2. So that is oxygen, oxygen, uh, two bonds are there. One is the sigma, one is the five. The sigma bond is formed, sigma bond is no. That is constructed, destructed, constructed, destructed. That this part is no no. So only this thing, this is constructed and is not destructed. So that means one sigma bond will be there. So that is the one pi bond and it is also antibody partially pi bond that is half pi bond that is also pi bond that is partially pi that is the half pi bond two half bond in case of the one bond. So that's why one sigma and one pi bond will be there. And the magnetic property you will see in case of that of magnetic properties that is the number of unpaired electrons is two. That is two number of unpaired electrons is present. So the oxygen The board has created like that because the oxygen is paramagnetic because of that gravitational attraction to the oxygen is more so that the oxygen is on the surface on the earth crust the percent percentage of oxygen it is more in this so that is okay. so the n so now you see I will write the configuration of the O2 plus and you can write O2 minus and O2 minus. So that is the that we can write. So that is the O2 that is the oxygen, but O2 plus is the oxygen cation. That is also near my oxygen cation in there. So that is the superoxide ion. O2 minus 1 is superoxide, but O2 minus 2 is peroxide. O2 minus So in case of the oxygen that I have you see there is one left is lost here. So lost here means up to this the substitution will be there. And the O2 will be there, and the pi will be here, will be there, and the pi to pi will be equal to zero. So because the one left is lost, here's there will be no electron. So in case of the O2 minus. In case of the O2 minus, there will be one extra electron will be there. So extra electron will be there, it will be pi star to pi so 2 and it is pi star to pi So that is the unpaired electron is 1. So here in O2 minus 2, the radius will be given side, but the pi star to pi 2 and that is equal to the pi star to pi I start to be why tool. So that means if it is O2 plus, from here I can explain you O2 plus it is one electron will lost here. That is only pi star to be x1. So when it will be uh, O2 minus 1, that will be like this. You will O2 minus 2, that will be like this. So the basis of this if you see. So this is the <coughs> this is the last part in case of the O2. So the bond order is the n minus 6 by 2 that is equal to but in O2 plus the bond order will be uh, plus this one you have to lost it that is 10 minus 5 by 2. So the antibody is one you have to it will be 2.5. So it will be 2. So the oxygen oxygen double bond is 2.5 means the oxygen oxygen double bond, the one partial bond will be there. And O2 minus 2 it will be 10 minus 5 instead of the 6 that becomes 7. 
by 2, that will be 3 by 2, that is 1.5. That is a single point analysis. oxygen oxygen uh, single bond with the other minus sign. This is the peroxide structure. Uh, and the magnetic property you will see here the uh, number of unpaired electrons is 2 here, here the number of unpaired electrons is 1, here the number of unpaired electrons is also 1, here the number of unpaired electrons is 2. So the paramagnetism, the O2 minus paramagnetic, this is paramagnetic. This is paramagnetic. Uh, this is the number of unpaired electrons, 0 here. Here is equal to 0, so it will be diamagnetic. This will be paramagnetic and this is also paramagnetic. So this is number of unpaired electrons, 0. It can be So it is diamagnetic. This is the, you know, scattered. But, uh, so O2 plus is more stable than the O2, then O2 minus, then O2 minus. That is the stability. It will be same. Bond energy order will be same. Bond energy order will be same. And then O2 plus is less bond length than the O2, then O2 minus 1. Then over to minus. So the peroxide is the peroxide. So the peroxide is the peroxide. So the peroxide is the the peroxide. So the 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 but O2 minus 2 is diamond. So I will explain you how bright the not to nitrogen and oxygen and their other things. So this is all what we have explained that is all the not to. Let me explain with Yes. Pi to PS fast, then the pi to PY pi to PS that is equal to the pi to PY. Pi to PS that is equal to 
And for all the compounds, all the so here we cannot, uh, we are not uh, able to complete. We are not able to complete all the. Heteroatoms that I can explain you this is in the entrance mostly the IITJ and the advanced examination heat exam is also that mostly ask the heteroatom so in the next video that I will explain the molecular orbital theory for the heteroatoms so thank you can subscribe my channel that is the Bangladesh Thank you.